Hello everyone, this is Mark Merrick here with one of my favorite amps of all time, the beautiful Fender Vibraverb from 1964. And this is an original 64 vintage. As far as I know, nothing has been changed in this amp besides a few of the tubes. I love this amp. I learned to play guitar, electric guitar, on this amp uh, around the age of 10 or 11. My father purchased this amp, and I'll tell more about that story later. But I thought it'd be fun to create a video and demo this amp, let you guys hear some of the tones that inspire me. This amp is absolutely the one that I compare every other amp to. It is the definition of guitar music for me. It's because I grew up with it playing this amplifier with Strat guitars, also with my father's Guild M75, and that single coil P90 and single coil Alnico traditional Strat tone with this amp became the definition for me. And you know how that is as a guitarist, whatever you listen to growing up, playing and hearing on the radio, on LPs, on CDs, as you may have it. That becomes the definition for you. And you find yourself seeking and chasing that tone for the rest of your life. And so this is the beginning of my addiction right here. I am curious, what was the beginning of your addiction? What is that amp and guitar combo for you that really defines music and excites you every time you play it? Here it is for me. And here's a, what it sounds like. sacred space for me. Um, I love everything about this amp. There's a punch, a drive, and electricity that the Fender line of amps has for me, and this to me is the best of that line. Partly because of this bright switch. I love the bright switch on this amp. I honestly don't use the Vibroverb feature itself a ton, but the bright switch I play with a lot. Depending on the guitar that I have, I might turn it on or off. And frankly, it sounds great both on and off. And let me give you some tones to demonstrate both the bright switch and the different positions on the guitar. That's the fly position, bright switch off now. there and noticeable in that position. Bright switch on in the four position with the neck and middle pickup. Right switch off. Just the middle. Very bright pickup. This is a place where you really don't need the bright switch, but let's turn it on. That was with it off. I 
right switch on, it's just, it can get a little too much if you lay into the uh, pickups in the guitar. Two position, so middle and bridge. Let's start with the bright switch on. Let's go ahead and turn the bright switch off. position we'll start with the bright switch on slice it but that switch does add a lot of control if you have a guitar that's dark the bright switch comes on if you have a pickup that's dark the bright switch can come on so let's hit a few other features on the amp I'm going to demonstrate the channels now this is something I had never played with until recently it's funny I've always plugged into the vibrato channel number one but recently I thought well what happens if I plug into number two it turns out it's a little different um, it's actually a volume cut. Um, I don't have the exact definition. Maybe someone can leave in the comments what they know about that. But it's the same tone, basically. We'll start with the bright switch on in that second. And it's not, to me, quite exactly like a tweed amp where you have a high and a low channel. This doesn't seem to be losing any gain as far as I can tell, but it might be but it definitely loses some volume. But. your second channel. I never use it, who knew, but for playing at uh, practice volumes it probably is kind of a nice thing. And then of course the normal channel is normal. No vibrato and no reverb available. By the way I've had the vibrato off this whole time. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But here's that normal channel. I have the bright switch on there. roughly set the same maybe my trebles a little down there but again if I plug into the second input on the channel I get the volume cut so I don't believe I told the story yet how my dad acquired this amplifier it was 1982 and he's pastor of a small church in California the church guitarist played a Fender Vibraverb and a Tennessee Chet Atkins Gretsch. And it so happened that one day he told my dad, I actually have two of these. I have two amps and two of the exact same guitar. Apparently he had them as backups. He was a fine player and I'm assuming he played out at some point. 
And so he had a backup of each. And he said to my father, for some crazy reason, I'll sell you an amp and a guitar for $300. I know. <laughs> and my dad, of course, said yes. And I'm so glad he did because this then became the amplifier that I played on at church. My dad and I would trade off on it depending on a given night. So this amp stayed in the church. Uh, we really didn't take it out. It may have taken it out to a gig or two here or there as a young man, but I quickly acquired a smaller and lighter amp, and plus my dad wasn't real keen on me taking this amplifier anywhere away from the church. So he had it there for quite a, a while. That was about 13 years. And then when my dad retired from, from that church, he put the amp in his closet purchased a much smaller solid state Fender, which honestly sounded fantastic too. And he used that amplifier. And I, of course, acquired my own gear. Until around 2001, um, I was in a place where I had a, my own house and I asked my dad if I could borrow the amp. And there it joined me. I didn't play it a lot. Like I, I don't know if I said this, but, uh, I don't play this amp all the time because it's just too precious. It's like a fine wine. You save it for special occasions. So I play it maybe once a month or once every two months. Um, I do have some other amps like a Laney Lionheart 5 watt that actually sounds quite a bit like it, but there's nothing like it. This Fender Vibroverb is unique. It, uh, I don't know, it can't be duplicated, as the, at least as far as I've, I've heard and played. I've never played an amp that's been exactly like this one. But uh, just to kind of wrap things up and show a few more things about the amp, I want to demo the reverb tank a little bit more. So there is my favorite setting. That's just about three, between three and four. There's four. On that reverb, you can go all the way up to 10. special effects I would never do that in a live setting. Here's it on 8. Around 8 it starts sounding pretty good. You could use that for some ambient stuff. But for me, it's somewhere between three and four. And then, of course, there's the vibroverb unit on this. It's not a heavy vibroverb. It doesn't overwhelm you. Um, so usually I run the intensity pretty high on this amplifier. And I keep the speed somewhere around three, between two and three, maybe a little over three sometimes. And let's just hear that effect real quick. of overwhelming in your face kind of effect it just adds some subtlety and I do like it but I often find myself instead of using the vibra verb I use my tremolo
So there you have it, folks. The 1964 Fender Viber Verb. Again, what is your favorite amp? What amp turns you on and makes your heart vibrate? Love to hear in the comments. Take care. Have a wonderful life. Stay strong. Fight for freedom. Love you all. Goodbye.